in our daily lives we face a lot of situations with uncertainty now what does that mean well situations which you do not know that it may or may not happen and of whose results are also unknown to us like for example you can say it may or may not rain today india may or may not win the match today or you may not win a may or may not win a lottery now that is uncertain now in mathematics we can study these kind of situations now these are situations of uncertainty now these can be studied with probability you may have heard these statements like it will probably rain today it will be a sunny weather today it probably will be a sunny weather today so this word probability comes from the term probably now in so many years we have faced such kind of diverse situations and situations of uncertainty that it has evolved as a science in itself the study of this science is called probability so now you are familiar with situations of uncertainty these are those situations which may or may not happen and their results are also not sure to us now what are can be situations that are not uncertain that means they are certain can you tell me any examples well rising of the sun you know that the sun will have to rise and that also in the east so that is a certain event it has to take place so that is a situation that is certain that is does not come under the situation of uncertainty can you tell me another example well what about rotation of the earth now when the earth rotates you know it has to rotate and it will not stop it is a certain event so that is a situation which is certain now let's take an example today is monday suppose today is monday now what is the chance that tomorrow is tuesday can you tell me well you will think that such an obvious question we all know that tuesday has to come after monday so it is 100% sure that tomorrow is tuesday so there is a 100% chance that tomorrow is tuesday now again if today is monday can you tell me what is the chance that tomorrow is friday is there any chance of tomorrow being friday if today is monday well again that's so obvious we know that tuesday only comes after monday and not friday there will be no chance of friday coming after monday there is 0% chance of it so now you know that if today is monday then the chance of tomorrow being a tuesday is 100% and the chance of tomorrow being a friday will be 0% now you can see that here we have calculated like chance in percentage but how do we write this in probability we always write the values of probability in a fraction or decimal so this 100% can be written as what 100 by 100 because we have this percentage sign here so what do we get 1 so the probability of tomorrow being a tuesday if today is monday is 1 now can you tell me how will we write 0% chance as decimal well we'll do 0 by 100 now what will this give us what will this give us it will give us 0 so the probability that tomorrow is friday if today is monday is zero now you know how to write these in probability now one more thing you know that if it is a 100% chance that tomorrow is tuesday you can say that this situation is a sure situation it has to happen if today is monday then tomorrow tuesday has to come so this is a sure situation we are 100% sure about it now we know that the chance that tomorrow is friday if today is monday it has a 0% chance that means it is impossible so 100% that means the probability is 1 so this has to happen that is why it is a sure thing now if the probability is 0 now we see that it is 0% chance so the probability is 0 that means it is impossible this will never happen now suppose the meteorological department gave us the information that there is an 80% chance that it will rain today now you are thinking to go out now you think that should i take my umbrella or not 
But seeing this information, well, I would take an umbrella because there is an 80% chance that it will rain today. Now, 80% is closer to 100%. So there is a high chance that it will rain today. So I should carry my umbrella if I, if I don't want to take a chance. But this does not ensure that it will rain today. Now, they have said that it, that is 80% chance, but not 100% chance. So this means that there is a high probability that it will rain today, but this does not ensure that it is certain that it will rain today. So now you understand the difference. 80% chance means there is a high probability, but it does not ensure certainty. It still remains a situation of uncertainty. We are just studying it so that we can know whether we have to take an umbrella with us or not. So now you know what probability does for us. It is actually the study of chance. How we studied this chance that it will rain today so that it could help us whether we should take an umbrella or not. So this is actually what probability makes us study, the study of chance. Now, probability is closely related to the concept of percentage. You can see that, how did we start studying probability? Like 80% chance. So this percentage is very important in probability. Although the values of probability are measured in fraction or decimal. But it is closely related to the concept of percentage. Now, not only in maths, but like probability is used in various other places. Well, in the meteorological department or in the weather department, probability is highly used. Like how we can say that it is a probable chance or it is a high probability that it will rain today. It is a high probability that the weather will not go beyond 30 degrees centigrade tomorrow. So all these are studied in chance, that is probability. Now, even in hospitals where there is a prediction to be made for the medicine, when there is a success in a heart surgery or any other surgeries. So probability is used here also. Now even in the insurance industry, probability is highly used. And the gambling industry, well here probably is majorly used. So now you know what is probability? It is a science of chance. It is a study of these chances, these uncertain situations. It indicates the chance of something happening. It tells us whether how much chance is there for a, uh, for a certain event to happen or not. It is closely related to the concept of percentage. We just saw that although the values of probability are measured in fraction or decimal. 